welcome back to my channel. Oh, hi, welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm gonna be doing a DIY ferret tunnel or guinea pig tunnel. Um, I'm actually gonna be making this one for a guinea pig, my best friend of like, oh my God, how old am I? So let's see, 30 years. That kind of gives you an idea how old I am. Shh. Um, adopted some guinea pigs and asked me to make her um, a ferret, a tunnel, and also a snuggle sack, which I made in a previous video. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. So I'm going to be doing that, but I am also, I've also made these for my ferrets as well. So you can adjust the size kind of for whatever you need based on the type of animal that you have. Um, so that'll be what we'll be doing today. I will put the sizes in the video and also in the description. Um, also next week I will be making brand new cage liners for my ferrets. So please come by and see that. It'll be exciting and fun. I like to just be able to make my own because I can pick the designs and it's actually fairly easy and it's a lot like less expensive than buying them online. But don't tell anybody I told you that. Um, it's also not very difficult um, to make if you have a sewing machine. If you don't, it, you would probably just not want to do it that way. But I will tell you this, good old YouTube taught me how to sew. Shh, that's my other secret. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. you're going to take this and fold it this way um, and you're gonna sew along these lines right here so you can pin it if you want to you if you don't have to that's fine but you're gonna sew right along here so from here down we're gonna sew So next you're gonna take your cotton piece. Um, you're gonna put the pretty side down and lay it out like this. And then you're gonna take your batting and you're gonna place it on top of the, the not pretty side of your cotton. So you should have approximately a half an inch difference. The batting should be about a half an inch shorter on each side than your cotton. So we're gonna put it like this. And then what we wanna do is we want to pin this, so we're gonna fold the, these over like this, and um, we're gonna pin it. So if you can see, that's what we're gonna do. We'll pin it all the way down the sides, and then we're gonna sew. So now that we've pinned both sides, it's gonna look just like this. And we're going to basically sew along each edge where the pins are. So next we're going to take what we've sewn and we're going to take the good side and we're going to fold it up. So what should be on the outside should be your batting and the pretty side should be on the inside. And we're going to fold it just like this and then we are going to sew right down this way right here down the short end. So I'm going to pin this just because it's easier to follow. I'm not going to put a lot of pins, just a couple. Um, it sometimes you can people can I can sew without the pins it depends on what it is sometimes it's just easier I cut everything um, an inch or a half an inch bigger than it should be um, that's why all of the directions are at um, like 22 and a half or whatever measurements are plus a half an inch 
because I like to allow for a seam allowance. It's normally a quarter of an inch seam allowance for most things. So I do like to do a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Um, I don't like the way that's <laughs> pinned. So I'm gonna redo it. Um, but that is why, because then that way you're taking into account any fabric or space that you're losing due to sewing. Um, and I think that that is important because if you don't account for that, then your things don't make sense when you start to sew it together. So um, now we are basically going to sew this and then we'll move on. So now that we have this pinned, you're gonna sew right here, right along here. So now we're gonna turn her inside out. And you have a tunnel. All right, so next, all right, so now that we have this, we're gonna take our fleece piece that we sewed. Um, I'm gonna try and line up this, so this piece that's sewn together with this line here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this fleece inside of our tunnel. So, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put it inside there. All right, we're gonna try to even it up the best that we can on each side so when we roll it, um, it's even. All right, so I personally like my sewn edges to match up um, if possible. It's just easier. I like the way it looks better. So I'm gonna do that. Now we're gonna take, and we're gonna roll one roll, and then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna roll it over top of your cotton piece. And we're gonna wanna catch all of the cotton in this roll up here. Um, it looks like my cotton piece is a little big, but that's okay. So we should have it like this. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So we're gonna roll it. And then we're gonna roll it again. All right. And then I normally play with this for a while until I get it where I want it. Um, I just, I'm very pick, like kind of a perfectionist, so it's a flaw of mine. Um, the good thing about doing stuff like this is it's for, it's for fun. And so, you know, your guinea pig or your ferret, they don't, judge you if your sewing isn't perfect. They just love you because you made them something awesome. They, they probably just love you because you feed them, but regardless. Um, so now we have it just like we like it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew right here, all the way around on both of these to hold it into place. Um, you don't probably have to pin for this. Again, that's one of those things. If I may do it because it holds everything in place and it just assures that when I'm sewing, I'm not doing anything kooky. project product <laughs> um, it's a tunnel for your guinea pigs so that's that and um, the previous video I DIY I made I made the sug snuggle sack so now I have the tunnel and snuggle snuggle sack both are going to my best friend um, whom I love dearly and I hope that she enjoys them and um, please stop back next week for the next video